So there's a uh, interesting one I was thinking about where it's like, let's say there's some area where, like, if you hop at just a, some crazy angle, you can move through the branch of a tree, and it's a shorter way to get from one place to another. Mm -hmm. So if that takes, like, two seconds off of your travel time, that is just, like, probably good for the game. To just have this, like, crazy cool little trick that some advanced players can do to gain a, gain a minor edge. Yeah, absolutely. If that takes five seconds off your travel time, you start to wonder... The game. Well, yeah, I mean, and, you know, there's obviously, like, there is some number where it completely breaks the game, and it's just a horrible broken cheat that jumps you from the beginning of the level to the end that you need to patch out. But it's funny that, like, the action is cheating or not cheating based on how effective it is, not based on what you're doing. I would say that, yeah, I mean, cheating is probably pretty heavily defined by whether or not you are breaking the game. Who is our support? Well, no, I, but just like in a racing game, you know, if something is five seconds or it's 15 seconds, that could be the difference between it being cheating or not. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy to think about. Yeah, it's, it's quite interesting. Uh, I'm just saying, like, like, the concept of breaking the game is not necessarily like if you are doing something that's just kind of weird and strange that gets you a couple of extra seconds, it doesn't actually like cause the game to function less well. We, we meant like breaking the game as in makes it unplayable for other people. Exactly. Yeah, you I don't know. There's the like a... experience actively like outside of what it, its own bounds are. I don't know. It's interesting. <sighs> I mean, I think it may be more about, like, does it afford you enough of an advantage in an obvious enough way that players feel like they have to do it? There's a weird little thing in, um... Payday 2 that's kind of along the lines of what you're thinking, that, um... I'm sure it would have had to have been patched out or more people would have realized it if it were a competitive game. Yeah. Like, you can... If you do it just exactly right and time the button presses, you can bunny hop in that game faster than anyone can run. Huh. And I've told a bunch of people this, and no one... I've never seen anyone doing it but me. Huh. You'll have to show me how sometime. If so, I ever play like Eddie again. <laughs> Everyone else on the team talks about the future or the past. So just you. thinking about All the like obvious the angle as opposed to the power the level angle. And that's a good thing. Like if there yeah, were a way that well, you could like yeah. Yeah, sequence I mean, your attacks exactly in the middle of a fight for Not an optimization where you did five money. extra damage. That would be totally fine. But if you just like had some crazy sequence of things you could do at the start of the game that just did five damage to them before the game started. Yeah. That would be like a horrible bug that you have to fix. God damn you, you dick. Have, have a bug! bug. Anyone seen any tracks? Daisy's got some. Which way is she going? Okay, up and around. Nope. Not even. Really? 
Yeah, you missed <laughs> by a good, like, 20 meters, man. Oh. It's okay, though. I don't forgive, but I'll pretend like I do until I exact my revenge. In which yeah, case, you'll be dead. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you'll be dead, so no, no time for regret. So when you said don't worry about it, that wasn't like you know, advice. That was a request in order to make your job easier. Exactly. Yeah. You know we understand each other perfectly. He went down here somewhere. Not sure where. Alright. What are you doing, Daisy? Oh man, I got a full shield. Nice. Doing some texting. Bug in the air. <sighs> All right. No worries. That one's cutting along the outside, so you should be able to catch up by catching on the inside. Uh, I was texting my friend about, um, she got out of surgery not very long ago, and got some pain pills after her surgery, and, uh, her roommate's girlfriend has just been stealing. Exciting. Yeah. Like, how does she think I won't know? And I was like, this is fucking scary. She's been drunk. Hey. Need a bug, need a bug, need a bug. You need a bug? Dude. I can't see you. I am right above you. God, I really like this slam. New Slim is amazing. Holy Christ. Seconds. I don't know. I don't play Trapper. I just hope they get stuff in domes and I'm sad if they don't. But I don't know. 
<laughs> uh, what do you what do you think, Brian? What's a percentage chance you have to think of doing this before you throw it? Um, pretty much a hundred. That one second drops. So. So if you think a dome has a 75% chance of landing, you don't think they'll throw it? Yeah. I would not throw it. Fire breath! Back up! It's better to keep that pressure up so that the monster doesn't evolve. What if the monster just evolved? Um well, Then you definitely should be able to throw the dome. <laughs> Is it? I think we're supposed to throw a reasonable number of things for some of us, but I'm gonna get wrong. <laughs> he wants me so dead. He's on me. Oh god. Job of healing. And also doing it. I 
hit him. Fucking playing around your corpse, keeping you alive. Bugs and heels. Bugs and heels. 